It's um, five minutes to seven o'clock here on BBC Radio Bristol. Um, Onwards to a story which is a completely lovely one. Um, For many of us, the only physical reminder of our relatives, certainly ones from previous generations, may be the odd black and white photograph or perhaps a little keepsake um, from the past. These are often passed down through the generations, but for one South Gloucestershire farmer, well, he came across something rather special where he least expected it. BBC Radio Bristol's Jonathan Holmes has been to meet the man. Shopping online is now a popular pursuit for a lot of people and, yes, thank you very much for that, and why wouldn't they be? Because there's plenty of decent bargains to be had, nice pair of shoes, decent telly at a knockdown price, but what about a piece of family history? So I've come to Titherington in South Gloucestershire, uh, as you can guess by the amount of cows here, to meet a man who literally bought back a piece of his family history. I'm Rich Cornock and uh, I'm a dairy farmer from uh, South Gloucestershire. Now, Rich, in your hands, you've got a medal. This is quite a common medal as far as World War I is concerned, but this medal is very special to you. Tell us why. Well, well, this medal actually originally belonged to my great-uncle Bill. He was in World War I. He was actually in the Gloucester Yeomanry and went out to Egypt and and Palestine and the Sinai Desert, I think, um, fighting. He basically won this medal as, as part of the campaign and eventually retired to Birmingham. And when he died, um, they didn't have any children, him and his wife. The house was sold and all their possessions were sold and a lot of the money was given to charity. Uh, and my father um, inherited a few items and amongst them we got some nice pictures from World War I of, of him out with the horses in the desert and in his uniform, which we were quite proud to have really. And it was a lovely kind of thing to know that my great uncle had done something like that. Last week, which, which I think, I can't believe it really, I went on to eBay and I just t- typed the name Cornock in. Up pops the medal from Gloucester Yeomanry. And I thought, hello, well, that's interesting. Why is that popped up? Because I only put in the name Cornock. So I clicked on the description. It said, medal presented to William L. Cornock, Gloucester um, Yeomanry. And I thought, hang on a minute. That's my great uncle. That can't be right. What are the chances? Well, the, well, the chances are 6.5 million to one because that is how many of these medals they made in, in World War One after World War One. I don't know where this medal's been floating around for 45 years, but somewhere it's been around. I just feel so lucky because it's reunited it with the pictures, but also this medal's come back to the place that my great uncle was born because he was born on the farm. Do you feel like you know him more now that you're holding his medals? Do you know what? That is absolutely true because I got this medal only two days ago and then I started looking into a bit more about the Gloucester Hussars or the Gloucester Yeomanry and then my dad started regaling some stories about him, you know, what my dad knew about him. Sometimes history can be a very stuffy bit of paper and doesn't mean anything to anyone apart from someone who's interested in that subject. But suddenly when you've got a medal in your hand and a few photographs, not just of him at war, but also playing tennis or something, he's a real person. He's like the rest of us, isn't he? Are you going to frame the medal? Are you going to have it on display? What, what next? I, I don't know. I haven't. Re- it's, all, it's all happened so quickly. I don't know what yet. The main thing is this will stay in the family. I mean, it actually cost me £40. That's the best £40 I've ever spent, I think. And I've got two young boys and I'm going to make sure it stays in the family. That's just a great story. Photographs um, you can see of Richard and also his great uncle. They're on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash BBC Radio Bristol. So you can see just what they look like if you take a look there. Just one of those stories, isn't it? It's you just wonderful, don't think it? it's going to happen. And it's backed up in the papers today. There's a good article in the Daily Mail saying uh, actually mobile phones and digital uh, cameras, uh, we're losing our past because none of the photos we take are ever printed out. So it's something to think on there. Print them out. Get them into the loft for the next generation to see. One of the things that I did, because we had a big family party at the weekend, brother's 30th, um, happy belated birthday, Dave. One of the things that I did you can do this via your telephone and relatives were like pretty amazed at this but if you take a photograph there's an app you can use which turns that photo from your phone into a postcard and delivers it to you know whoever you want it to which is a great idea so i've been sending them out